Okay. So I'm making this video because today is my dad's birthday. And tomorrow it's going to be Father's Day, so I wanted to kind of peg in two things at once. So pretty much this is going to be like a little appreciation video. And I guess I'll also talk like at the end about anybody else who watches this that isn't my dad, because I'm automatically sending this to him when I'm done. But my dad turns 41 today. And I know that's old, but I mean... That's kind of what you expect from parents. I'm almost 21. Just give me two months and eight days, and I'll be legally old enough to drink, but I don't plan on doing that anytime soon either, so. But the main thing is, my dad has been someone who has essentially sacrificed a lot to support me and to support my brothers and to support my family in general, just everybody that lived in the house. Um, and he taught me a lot of things that I've tried to take to, that I've tried to take to heart. Uh, you know, like you need to have hard work and dedication in order to reach your goals, to never stop trying those kind of things. And while I sometimes slip with those with that with those uh, with the advice that he gives me when I sometimes slip, even though I sometimes slip, I always remember it, and I always try to follow it, and 85% of the time I do, because my dad is like a shining example of appreciation and sacrifice. He's done so much for us, as I said. I mean, he he's done multiple jobs, worked for long hours, gotten very few meals at a time a day. Sometimes even only gets like two hours of sleep before having to go back to work. He does all this to support his family, and it's an it's an amazing thing that he's able to do this. I mean, he's tired sometimes, he's cranky, but he is you know he's he does the right thing. I guess I think I'm trying to say, but he just does so much for us. And while sometimes he can be a very serious person, like when we do something stupid, he can also be a pretty fun guy. He can, you know, make jokes, he can smile, he can make you laugh. Like, an example of that is he'd sometimes, like, make fun of how my voice sometimes sounds nasally, or like Squidward from Spongebob, so sometimes I'll, like, Spongebob. I'll sometimes do it with him if I'm, like, in a good mood. <laughs> but like I said, he does also sometimes become serious, like, good example I guess I could give is that one time when I was about 10 or 11 years old, my brothers and I got lost in the backwoods, uh, and dad and mom, they were like shouting out in the backyard for 20 whole minutes, and when we finally got back to them, dad was mad, but at the same time, it was understandable why he was mad. We had gotten ourselves lost. We could have probably been hurt or kidnapped or anything of the sort, which really we wouldn't have been kidnapped because we were in the woods and no one's in the wooded area that's there where we were at the time because we've moved multiple times as well. Um, but he was mad for the right reasons and I understood that back then. So he's, he's been like an inspiration, I guess. There's been multiple people that have inspired me, but Dad is the major inspiration, and sometimes I feel I don't give him enough credit, which is kind of sad, because actually last year, with both on Father's Day and his birthday, I completely forgot to mention anything, like on Facebook or YouTube, or I didn't even send him a text saying happy birthday, and when I realized that, which was actually when I visited back in, uh, during Christmas break, I was blindsided. I was sad. I forgot my dad and his birthday and Father's Day. and He felt a bit underappreciated, I think. And I was sad about it. I didn't realize I had forgotten. Which is kind of why I'm making this video now, because there's no way I'm going to forget. But even though 
I sometimes don't talk to, well, my family in general, I guess, since I'm here, since I do forget to talk to them, even though I don't talk to them, even though I don't thank them enough for everything they've done for me, I always remember what they did, and I'm not someone who likes to talk too much. Like, you can tell right now, I'm talking, I'm trying to continue talking, but I'm like stopping in places, I'm stuttering, I'm mumbling. I do this a lot because I'm not a very sociable person too much. Sometimes, you know, I can go through things normal, you'll never be able to tell, but then other times, like with this, trying to have a real heart to heart with you guys and with dad, it's a bit harder. But, you know, the main thing is, dad, if you're watching this, I really appreciate everything that you've done for me as I've been growing up. And even as I'm in college right now, how you and mom are still supporting me, even though you're probably sick of me texting you guys, asking you for money like every so often, which I'm trying not to do. I'm trying to actually find a job and get money, and I'm also trying to promote this channel so that way I can get more people subscribed, so that way, you know, I can get more views on my videos and get a bit of ad revenue in order to at least get some food or try and pay off stuff for college, but, you know, I'd have to require a lot more than just a thousand subscribers, but if I can reach at least a thousand and get a thousand views per day on each video, I could probably, you know, be able to, pardon, um, take care of myself financially, at least for a while. But really, Dad, I'm really Dad. I appreciate everything that you've done for me. Everything. And even though I do sometimes forget to show it, I never forget everything that you did for me. Everything that, even if you're mad. Even if you're happy, everything that you've done for me, everything that you've tried to do, I don't forget it. And I want you to know that I love you so much. Now, for everyone else who's watching this randomly, if you have a dad who's done the same exact stuff that my dad has, who's been willing to sacrifice for you, who's been supportive of whatever you do, who's been very supportive of you in general, Always appreciate what they do for you and always make sure that they know how much you appreciate them and how much you love them. If you had a dad that wasn't willing to sacrifice or, you know, just was a completely ridiculous, uh, let me use this word, I guess, a completely ridiculous dickbag, then you don't need to appreciate them. If you're a guy, what you should do is show that you can be better than him. If you're a girl, look for someone who you know is definitely better than him. Or, you know, if uh, you guys are into the same sex, then you can do what you wish. Because, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to state it correctly here. My point is, though, appreciate your father. Father's Day. Show how much you care and appreciate and love them. If you love them. If they love you and are willing to sacrifice for you. For all those people out there who do have fathers that don't do that kind of stuff. And they're probably far worse than... Well, I don't know. But, you know, just dads that aren't willing to do that. But dads that aren't. Dads that are compassionate. That... You know, you can appreciate everything that they've done. Dads that have sacrificed so much just for you. Always appreciate them and always love them. And if your father is dead, but did that before, always remember them for that. And show your appreciation, I guess, through what you do. Show that you're willing to do what you want to do, but how much you appreciate your father, I think I'm trying to say. I don't know. I kind of have, like, these thoughts of how I'm going to do these things, but then they kind of turn different when I'm actually trying to do it, because this is unscripted, but I had the idea flowing in my mind of how I wanted to do this. So, I'm just going to end this video now.
to everyone who is my dad, you know, have a happy Father's Day. Uh, appreciate your fathers. Um, if you're a father yourself, you know, show your kids how much you're willing to love and cherish and sacrifice and everything. And just to dad, I love you so much. And I want you to make sure that you know that. And I appreciate everything that you've done, everything that you've sacrificed just for me and for Trevor and Xavier and even Ben and John when they lived with us. Just thank you. This is Blue Spark 107. Peace out, guys.